How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm actually gonna be tattooing my co-artist, Andrew, and the piece that we're gonna be doing on him is his Frenchie. I am excited, it has a whole bunch of texture, it's gonna have flow, and it's gonna be a very meaningful tattoo, and I am honored to do this piece for him. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. That's like beautiful skin. That's like super beautiful. It's like paper. Bro, if paper was a human, it'd be Andy. Oh. Oh my god, I think, bro, you're like tofu. Silky. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to ask me questions like uh, how I started tattooing. <laughs> what, made, what made me want to start tattooing? <laughs> you're the client, bro, you're supposed to ask me. Mexicano es mi bandera, yo la levanto por donde sea. You want me to stand or you want to put it on the set? You're good. You're a client. You don't know nothing today. You're not an artist today. <laughs> you can't help it. You can't help it. <laughs> Did it hurt? I'm sorry. Did I hurt you with the stencil? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, bro, that's the yeah. that's a spot. Mr. Klein, I'm gonna have you stand up. Oh, that's Thai, bro. That's Thai. Yeah. So the approach that I'm gonna be taking is, for this piece, making sure that I use a lot of tones. I clearly have here a beautiful canvas. <laughs> Super white skin. And with that, I'm able to use light grays, medium grays, dark tones, highlights, like everything, you can, you can literally use everything. So when you come across a skin complexion like this, use everything. Because every detail that you apply to this tattoo is gonna show, no matter what. You know, so you gotta make sure that you put in those little textures, those little details, those little white highlights. Take advantage of your, your contrast and your, your light source. So all of those things are gonna make this tattoo beautiful. I'm excited. I don't get this kind of skin complexion on a daily basis. You know what I mean? I'm hyped. We're done with the bottom portion of this piece. We're gonna start on the body. And the way I'm looking at it right now, I feel like I'm gonna be using a three round liner. And if I feel like that's too thin, I'm gonna switch to a seven round liner. Yeah, there's a lot to play with here. So I definitely wanna see what I feel more comfortable with, either with a three round liner or a seven. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, seven, seven it is. Yup. The seven round liner. Mm -hmm. 
So first I'm gonna lay down my solid black with texture here and then I'm gonna go back on my sec with my second layer and add my medium grays. No me importa gusta ser mayor que yo. Dame, 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 no, dame, dame, no. To execute this part of the piece, I'm gonna start using my 7 mile liner with a voltage of a 5.0. And the technique that I'm going to be using is my scribble technique. If you guys are new to this channel, the scribble technique is basically me doing little X's, circles, squiggly lines all over the place. You're not following a pattern. All you're doing is doing a little bit of everything to create that texture that you need to give it that depth on this piece. On those gaps that I'm leaving in between the black, I'm going to apply later on my medium gray and my light grays to give it that dimension and that realism that I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna start applying my medium gray and my light gray. And in between those gaps, I'm gonna start adding those little texture that I was talking about earlier. The technique that I'm going to be using here is a combination of doing texture and also feathering the skin. Since I'm using such a low voltage, I like to stick on my needle as much as I can. That way, whenever I'm brushing the skin, I can feel the skin vibrate and that's letting me know that I'm packing in the, the ink the way I'm supposed to. The cartridge that I'm going to be using for the chest area is my 11 curve mag. The reason why I'm using this cartridge is because it is going to help me to do those little hairs 
on the chest area where it looks natural and not too much or too dark or it's too harsh on the skin. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I hope you guys liked it and let me know what was your favorite part of this tattoo. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.